this section we're going to have a look at the time history tab. This is available on all instruments where time history data is stored. Let's clear some of these values out to clear up the screen a little bit. So we have here on the screen the entire noise measurement, the noise profile or time history data, and if available, audio recordings. This is showing us initially LAF max. The data that's shown on the screen can be simply changed by clicking on the icons here and selecting the value needed. So we'll have in this particular case A weighted LEQ and C weighted peak. We can also choose where available any octave band data and any one third octave band data by scrolling through the values required. We can also zoom in by using the slider on the right hand side and slide back out again to view the entire measurement. We can also use the right hand mouse button to zoom previous, zoom all, center, go to a particular time and zoom in on a particular time period. The time history section also allows us to add markers to the data. So for example, if we knew that this particular spike here was something that we wanted to mark, we can drag the cursor over it, right click and say mark. We can type a name in here so we can say loud noise and give it a particular color and click OK. If we now move our mouse over it, it'll give us the overall data for that, but it'll also give us the loud noise values according to what's displayed on the screen. So for example, we have the A-weighted LEQ and the C-weighted peak. If we wanted the LAF max for that value, we simply highlight on the screen and move a mouse back over, and we now have an LAF max value within that time period. So let's just remove the LAF max. We can also highlight other periods here. For example, we could say this is a train passing by, and we'll have that in green. Click OK. We also know that this particular one is also a train, so we click it, click Mark, pull down the list, and say that's a train, and click OK. So now we have two trains marked and one loud noise. This information can be used later when we print out reports and other information. What we can also do at this point is right click on the screen and say markers list and it'll tell us where they all appear. We can remove markers, we can mark a period or we can mark a point. If we click mark period and we've got a very specific time and time and date period we want to mark we can do so. So we know when a particular operation is active we can check whether that's got loud noises within it. We can also mark a point, a specific point in time, so we can reference those particular activities that are going on the screen. We can show user markers, so if we deselect that, the ones we've added are removed. We can also show trigger markers. Now, with an instrument that's got audio recording, an Optimus Green instrument, for example, certain events may be triggered using the acoustic fingerprint function, and these will be indicated on the screen. We can also show where audio recordings have been made. Now in this particular example, we know that the audio recording is the entire measurement, so the whole screen uses the audio recording color. So if I deselect that. We can select the y-axis settings, so we can auto scale up and down depending on what values are set, because we may be looking at 31 hertz octave band data, which is very low, or C where to peak data, which is very high. We can jump from that point to frequency view, we can look and save that image to a file, we can save the data as a CSV, or we can create a report using exactly the same features as the quit report at that point. Any changes that we made, for example any markers, are included. So the next time we open the file, that data is included and we can repeat that measurement and view that data again quickly and simply. What we can also see in the details tab is here a list of these particular noises. So what I could say is combine similar markers so I know the total LEQ for the trains is 74.6 dB. And what is remaining? If I take that away, I can then say, oh, I'm not interested in that one. So actually, the total noise, 72.6, what's remaining and what was generated by the trains. This information can be exported by simply clicking right and export table. So we'll jump back to the time history view. If we have other audio recordings, we can play these back and we can jump directly to the frequency tab for a particular section.